Hello, everyone. This is a quick introduction to the Microsoft Teams mobile app. Uh, it's a terrific app for accessing uh, the platform and power of Microsoft Teams on the go. Um, in fact, I'm recording this while I'm waiting for the bus. Microsoft Teams is part of the Office 365 suite of apps. Uh, you use Outlook for MSU Denver uh, online. When you go uh, use the online version of Outlook, look for that grid uh, or waffle icon in the upper left or right corner uh, of your screen and select that to show a, a truncated list of the most popular apps. They're really very powerful tools if uh, all you use is uh, email. Um, there's many things you can do to enhance your teaching as well as your professional life in general uh, by using uh, the integrated Office suite. Let's take a look at the Teams app. I've put it here under uh, a work folder, um, and the Teams app is this, this purple uh, icon with the T. When I open this up, one of the things that is likely to come up for you uh, is this list of Teams. I want to first draw your attention to the uh, buttons on the bottom. I'll always call these buttons. You have an activity button, a chat button, the Teams button, assignments and calendar. Uh, I am uh, a, a user right, uh, of Microsoft Teams and you can actually create online class spaces, learning management systems, so that's why assignments are there. You'll see that I have classes for my uh, class spaces for the classes that I have taught and am teaching, as well as a couple of other um, resources. I have created for you this at the bottom, the Com Studies uh, COVID-19 or Coronavirus Team. Um, when you log on and see Teams here, you can uh, press the, the, the View or Reveal button to see channels. So a couple of things here. Buttons on the bottom. These are major functions within Teams uh, that operate across uh, different teams that you might be a part of. Those are the buttons. Then uh, teams, right? Those are the large units or different work groups that you'll have. And channels. Channels are the major uh, 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 format uh, group, right, or unit uh, of any given team. Uh, they're like uh, modules or sections uh, or something like that. Um, so that's what you see on the team site. Very quickly, when you click activity, uh, the activity feed is going to show you recent activity that involves you. If you've been uh, at mentioned, which I'll describe in a different video, uh, if your team has been at mentioned, if someone has responded to you by, you'll see Mac Kual reacted uh, to one of my messages in my Common Ethics class with a thumbs up there on top. Anything that's recent in which you've been tagged or that uh, has, you know, is a response to something that you've posted on Teams will show up in this feed. It's a nice way to check in for current activity. If something is new, uh, your uh, activity button on the bottom will be bolded. So again, we're back to the team space. Um, so Teams is where you'll access your collaborative groups. But I want to also draw your attention to chat. Chat here on the bottom is effectively uh, a text messaging slash email um, function. Uh, it operates a lot like text messaging um, and you can communicate uh, individually, it's direct messaging, to anyone uh, using the MSU Denver platform, let alone members of your team. Uh, it is intuitive and when you type in people's names or MSU Denver IDs, uh, intuitively it will suggest to you individuals who are linked to you in Teams. So this is a great way uh, to, to connect with people directly. I'll also draw your attention then to the top right corner where you have the compose button. I've just clicked that. Click a name here. Let's say I'm going to talk to Sam uh, J. There he is. I'm going to click his name. And then here I've talked to him about uh, tagging him uh, in a long time ago in a demonstration video I did for students uh, using Teams here. So I can type a message to him. I can uh, click the A button here and have rich text editing like an email uh, rather than say a text message. I can at mention someone, him in this case. I can add the paperclip. I can add uh, 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 attachments uh, as well as photos from my thread. You'll see the photo button on the bottom right uh, or bottom left rather and uh, uh, GIFs. Uh, there with a GIF symbol. The paper airplane is where you can send messages. Uh, and I also, if you look at the upper right-hand corner, 
can do more than just message Sam or anyone else. I can call them using Teams. It's basically Skype right on the Teams platform. Uh, you can have an audio call uh, or a video call. And if you are uh, logged in on your Teams app, uh, you can call somebody on their cell phone right away. It makes it very easy to use the work platform to make audio calls, to do video chats. You can do this from a computer, right, a, a mobile device, uh, really anything that'll support uh, Microsoft Teams. So it's an excellent way for to have real-time collaboration in text, audio, and video. I'm going to go back, upper left-hand corner, that arrow, to our main uh, uh, thread here, and I'll click the Teams button again. Let's dive in now to the Com Studies COVID-19 team. So when I select that, it opens up the different threads I can go to, and I'll click on General. Now this is going to show me the general uh, uh, channel uh, according to what's most recent. This is a collaboration software, so what's most recent will come first. I've just scrolled up to the, uh, uh, up to the first post uh, that I created when making this team, uh, a link to the, the coronavirus page. You'll see all the stuff is accessible there. There's always more information uh, in the upper right-hand corner if you click on those three dots. Uh, that allows you to react, you know, thumbs up, I love it, ha, 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 etc. You can save and pin messages. Uh, and if you've composed something, you can also uh, delete it. Um, you can also reply. So take a look at this announcement, uh, MSU Denver's coronavirus page. And then right here, reply at the bottom. You see I'm taking that up to the top. I'm going to click above my face here and hit reply. Uh, this allows you, just like in chat, to compose uh, a, a text message or email. You'll see all the modifiers in the bottom, and you'll see the airplane for deliver. And uh, I'm not going to send this, but you'll see that uh, it, it can be really useful. From the mobile app, you'll also see a microphone here uh, before you type. I can press this and hold it down and actually record something. I'm recording my voice right now to send, and I can send that, uh, uh, that uh, audio message right here in Teams. Pretty great feature. So we've talked about this. I'm going to go back. Here's the thread for you. You can uh, search for all kinds of new activity uh, here, and you can reply to any one of those posts, or you can see the bottom here, uh, uh, produce a new post, create a post of your own. So you can reply as well as post uh, to the conversation here in the general channel. Any files, okay, any files that have been uh, attached to posts will also appear in the channel's files channel. And I click that, Sam J posted quick tips for moving online from an excellent resource at the University of South Carolina. Um, and that file is here. I can open it up right online. You'll see the PDF shows up for me. Uh, I can save it or share it by using my export button on the bottom. I'm using an iPhone. Uh, I can go away from it, and I can go back to post and look for Sam J's message. There's Sam. There it is in the context of his post, the, uh, right in the middle of that PDF file. So anything that's been attached to the file, it's easier to find you know, within a channel by clicking the Files tab. There's more you can do uh, as well. I won't be using uh, OneNote or the Staff Notebook. Uh, it's a bit more complex. So you know, don't uh, bother with that if you're new to Teams, okay? Uh, you'll also see then that we've got the general channel. That's the basic landing point. We've got the uh, public speaking, uh, CAS 1010 resources page, the 1710 resources page, uh, resources page, the FAQs, uh, frequently asked questions page. You'll see new stuff going up there all the time. All you got to do on the mobile app is click there and take a look. And of course, you can go to the files page to see if there are any files or you can read all the news in the posts. That's about all you need to do to have a basic understanding of using Teams on the mobile app. Uh, and as always, you can contact Dan, Sam, or me uh, with any questions. Cheers, y'all.